are here for our second local fish store tour in Los Angeles. We are at the LAX Aquarium. The place is super awesome inside. Let's go check it out. So the Sickle Bros traveled from Chicago to Los Angeles to film some of the best aquarium content we could find in the area. We started off in the Hollywood Hills touring a couple awesome private homes, one of which had a beautiful luxury koi pond in the entryway of its home, and then inside the house at a 500 gallon in wall corner African cichlid tank. It was absolutely beautiful, but not to be outdone by the next tank, which was a 2000 gallon saltwater aquarium of movie director Jeff Tremaine. It was an absolutely incredible tank with some beautiful saltwater fish. And then our next stop was a local fish store. We toured Nature Aquarium, which had some awesome planted aquariums and aquascaping inspiration. Our next stop was highly recommended, and that was the LAX Aquarium. We actually spoke with the owner of this fish store, Chris, who gave us a great interview towards the end of the video, so you will want to stick around for that. So we're walking around the side. It's kind of a unique entrance. We actually, I think, go in through the back side. This here is a great white. <laughs> When you first walk in on the left, there's a really cool coral reef tank. And there's a wall here where you can maybe take a picture like Alec and Quinn did. And then it looks like they're setting up a really cool display tank, but then you walk into the main room. You have a very high ceiling with huge tanks and tanks all along the outside of the wall. And then right away you'll notice the lights, the speakers, just a completely different experience than I've ever seen at a local fish store. You had some coral tanks in the front with different frags to choose from. Along the outside, you have all of the different saltwater fish, freshwater fish, you name it, they probably had it here. And of course, being the Cichlid Bros, we wanted to start with the freshwater selection here. They had an awesome albino tiger Oscar. They had some smaller Oscars, which I absolutely loved. And then they had some of your basic African cichlids. These looked like Mbuna. They had some great looking tinfoil barbs. They had a fire eel, which was really cool. They had your standard tetras and barbs, things like that that you could choose from. And we also wanted to point out some of our favorite saltwater fish before we get to the interview with Chris. One of my favorite saltwater fish right here, fox face. Another awesome one. This is a zebra boray eel. Ooh, I like that. This is my favorite tank in the store. We got a bunch of stingrays, three sharks, and some awesome tanks. That hot eel right here. You gotta check this out. This is the showstopper, in my opinion, of the whole store. This massive moray eel right here. When that's bigger than you. She's a little camera shy. Her name's Momo right now. Uh, well, there she comes. These are Picasso triggers, or Hoomer Hoomer triggers. They have an amazing Fowler selection and trigger selection, more specifically. We have this awesome nook of their store with some really big fish and a shark tank. I believe this is a, a couple thousand gallon aquarium, but then they also have these games like NBA Jam, one of our favorites. So I don't think we would leave this place very often. And also back here in this room is a lot of the custom tanks and the inspiration that you can get right here from the store. Some really big tanks with some custom cabinetry. Looks really nice if you ever need a big tank. But as we go through this fish store, I think you'll really just see the different vibe that it has with those lights, speakers, some club music playing even. It was just a really unique experience and we really liked it. And I mean, here's just an example of one of the songs that was playing. But even though we really focus on freshwater and cichlids, this store was just too cool to pass up and check out. We're really glad we decided to check this out. It had a lot of unique features to it and definitely the coolest experience we've had at a local fish store. We're here with 
Chris from LAX Aquarium. This place is incredible. Can you just give us a little background on how you started this place and what your vision was? So, um, in regards to how this uh, got started, was been doing this my whole life. My dad's been doing this since the 70s. Uh, I used to be a wholesaler uh, until the late 90s and then went retail. From there, we've moved to a couple different facilities. And then we finally found our foot here on Century Boulevard where it's a much better uh, foot traffic and you get a nice visual, especially being right next to the airport. It's always nice and convenient to be able to get the fish, get the corals directly out of the boxes, out of the bags and uh, acclimate them here. And then uh, from there, you know, customers come from all over the United States and people from all around the world come here just to take a look. So this is not just your normal retail fish store. I want to create an experience when you come in. I want you guys to be relaxed. I want you to have fun. I want you to enjoy, even if you don't have the aquarium, it's something that might lift you up at the end of the day. Uh, might you know, have some fun, you get stressed out, or your kids are with you and you want to let them play some video games in the background. That man is playing Galaga. Thought we wouldn't notice, but we did. You can sit here, have some lunch, charge your phone, watch the fish uh, while you go out shopping. Uh, we try to make it a fun, safe environment for everybody. Now we are about 10% fresh water. Sorry, sick with guys. This is great. a saltwater uh, marine store and we try to get stuff from all around the world. Um, you know, I, uh, my background was always entertainment, DJ production. And as you guys came in, you guys probably felt that production feel, you know, it's like, did I just walk into a club or what is this? So, you know, again, it's about the experience. You know, we want people to um, feel comfortable when they come in here. You know, it's, it doesn't smell like a fish store. It doesn't feel like a fish store. And that's the thing is we want to give you a different type of experience because we're not the Long Beach Aquarium and we're not your pop's fish store anymore. You know, this is a new way of doing things. And, you know, it's all about having a good time. I've been to plenty of aquariums all around the United States and I've saw some great ones and I saw some teardowns. And, you know, there's always uh, always things that you can do. And our, our um, ambition is, is, you know, do what is best for our customers for the fish and try to create an, a, a nice environment and uh, just have fun with it. Because if not, it's just your normal nine to five and who really wants to go to work. I definitely felt that experience when we walked in and one of the reasons like we really wanted to visit. But I also saw the quality of the fish. Uh, you have amazing tangs and triggers. How do you go about selecting all those? So um, the reason why we have such a large selection and we have great pricing here. Now, if you were to take price for price by going to the internet and saying, hey, you know, I got an MP40, um, we're the same price when it comes to dry goods. Now, when it comes to fish, you're gonna see the prices are really expensive online because that online shipper has to account for a possible DOA. He also has to account for the shipping costs. And there's also the fact that he went through uh, another wholesaler before he gets it. Now, because I've been doing this for a long time and my father uh, has been doing this since he was a teen, uh, we kind of grandfathered into that situation of being able to buy direct from the suppliers in those countries like Jakarta, Bali, Philippines, Australia, Africa, um, you know, just in those areas, you know, we have relationships with uh, brokers, with importers that we're able to bring that stuff in direct. Now that, unfortunately for some wholesalers are not happy that we cut them out, but then again, they can't be mad at the fact that they started after my father and we've been doing this first. So when we bring stuff in, we have an acclimation table, uh, again, we're got 90% salt water here. So we have a special way to bring stuff in if it's from the Caribbean. Um, I've been to these locations, I went diving, I have a special, uh, I take water samples where I go to kind of base it on what's going on now. If it's in another country that I've never been, I usually ask them to send us water samples separately so we can kind of gauge where our levels need to be. But in general, it's just like your normal acclimation process, just on a massive scale. And we have a hospital and a quarantine in the back of the fish that we feel that don't need to go out right away, or that maybe might get sick in a system, and they need to be, you know, put into a quarantine. And you know, that is part of being a responsible retailer that you need to pull those things one for the the, the customer's eye, but also for the wellness of the fish. And then from there, 
uh, we, we make it available to you as the customer at a great price. And that's the best part is, is that we can skip one person and save you that money, but be able to offer you almost double to triple the selection that we have here in this store, right on Century in Los Angeles. The best selection is amazing here, and you were also saying you're starting to grow a little bit. Can you explain what you're doing now? Yes, yeah, so um, as we know, um, back in 2020, we had this thing called COVID, and it's still around, but you know everybody's more lenient now, which is great, because uh, that time is, we experienced it, right? And Prior to that experience, 2019 wasn't a great year for a lot of fish stores. Uh, the economy still wasn't good at that time. And then all of a sudden we got hit with this pandemic. Uh, people couldn't go to work, they couldn't fly, they couldn't travel, they couldn't do a lot of different things. So prior to that, which by God's grace, um, we had a idea about selling corals online. And we started off Thanksgiving night on 2019, and I just wanted to make like three or 400 bucks because I was like, I just want to make sure I have enough money for payroll, right? You know, for the next day. And all of a sudden, I grabbed my phone, I made it more complicated than it actually was, and I started my first live sale. It was episode one on Thanksgiving 2019, um, that night, right before Black Friday, um, right before a crazy busy day. And I just want to make three or 400 bucks. All of a sudden, I didn't realize the following the thirst that everybody wanted out there that they, you know, and it turned into, it sold $4,000 a night, I don't even know how I did it. <laughs> I went home, I talked to my wife, I said, what just happened? And so we figured out we needed to make this work. We did 100 episodes completely manual. My wife went through all the information on the Facebook, wrote down everybody's comment, their timestamp, and manually sent invoices to where we are now doing a full production of uh, Coral selling on Facebook through dozens of apps that make it work conveniently after now we've completed episode 331. So that's a, that's a lot, 331 episodes in two and a half years, um, maybe three years, but more so that's that's success. And you know, there's, there's ups and downs with that, but the expansion of what we're doing is because we wanna make sure that we give our customers a really great experience online if they're not here. And we also want to make sure we give our coral enough time to relax and settle in before we turn over the next set of corals. So we built an additional row um, in our lifestyle area, which is super exciting because we've been waiting on that now for the past six months. And it's not cheap. You know, you own an aquarium at home, you know how much it costs to start up one little tank. Imagine starting up another tank that's 1,500 gallons in total water volume, adding on additional lighting, adding on plumbing. I mean, everything's ran into the ground. Um, it's not easy, but we did it here, and we want to thank our customers for supporting us over all those years uh, on uh, trusting us with your hobby and giving us the resources that we need to continue. Yeah, and it's amazing what you've done here, and the expansion is very exciting, and we really appreciate you just letting us come in and film it because it's been awesome to see in person. Wonderful. But that does it for our tour of LAX Aquarium. Thanks again to Chris and everyone that worked there for letting us film and just talk fish for a little bit. It was a really fun experience. And it's not our last stop in Los Angeles. We have one more to go. Really cannot wait to show you. And if you haven't seen our LA series already, I'll leave a link down in the description to the playlist of all of our Los Angeles videos. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.